Hello, everybody. My name is NBZ, but today, and today only, you can call me NBANA Pones, or NB for short, or if you're my student, Dr. Pones will do. And with me on couch, I have. Hi, I'm Metroid Crime. I'm super happy to be here. Um, and Z's outfit is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to get started. Uh, time starts as soon as I click something. So, I will count down. I'm just going to start in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. First, we're going to grab this newspaper, which will come in handy later. And we're going to go through this back alley. There's a couple different paths that you can take in this game. This is the shortest route through this area. We're going to push four crates, climb a ladder, and we are into the theater where we meet this stagehand and our friend Sophia, who is the person that we're looking for. But stagehand will not let us go talk to her. So we're going to dis distract the stagehand with the newspaper. News. Wow. Right? <laughs> Newspapers have a use in this game. <laughs> And then we're going to send out this fake ghost and ruin the show a little bit early. Sophia's not going to be happy with us, but it's fine. And we're going to take a quick break as we work on some things in the studio. I have a $10 donation from Mom6226 saying, let's keep the momentum going. We definitely will, Mom. Thank you so much for your donation. And of course, all the donations go to Malala Fund, a fantastic cause. We are just about over 10% into our Satan Loves Cake Dramatic Cutscene Reading Incentive, so please keep getting your donations in for that. One really exciting thing about our runner, NBZ, is that they run so many different games, so many different types of games, and I wanted to remind you that Games Done Quick has all kinds of content all year round, including GDQ Hotfix, which shows off lots of different communities in speedrunnings that are often overlooked. For example, this cool point and click adventure that you're going to see more of. And we've got games such as or shows such as Legally Cute and Think Fast. So if you're interested in more information, go to Games Done Quick dot com slash hotfix. And don't forget to also submit to the Solar Ash Wear All Suits incentive. That's a little bit later, so I'm going to want you to prioritize that Satan Loves Cake one chat, but make sure you're thinking about that because we all love our fancy, fancy outfits. And as I mentioned those incentives, I want to keep you updated about the schedule later. Of course, we have Satan Loves Cake with that incentive that I've been pushing. So make sure you get those donations in and Solar Ash. But after that, we're going to have some exciting Sonic the Hedgehog content. We're going to have Sega Ages, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic Riders, Zero Gravity, and Sonic 1 Forever, and I hear we could have the opportunity for a Boss Rush showcase on that run. And of course, we're going to follow it up with Sonic Mania Hang Glider Percent. So I love Sonic. I played a ton of Sonic as a kid. I'm sure you did too. And I'm not up to date on all of the newest Sonic improvements, so I'm going to be exciting to watch that block. So chat, what do you say? Are you excited for that Sonic block later?
Additionally, I wanted to talk about some of those great prizes. You saw the view from the prize cave earlier, but I wanted to particularly shout out a prize that is related to our next run, the Satan Loves Cake cross-stitch prize, which is as adorable as Satan can possibly be. Let's just put it out there. I mean, we know he's a dude that loves cake, and that's adorable, but you definitely want to bid for this cross stitch. And just wanted to remind you all again that we are collecting donations for Malala Fund with those great incentives that you heard me reading about as we work in the production studio on getting that run back. And let me just remind you about what Malala Fund is all about. It's working for a world where every girl can learn and lead. With more than 130 million girls out of school today, Malala Fund partners with education advocates and activists who are breaking down barriers that hold girls back. It's a fantastic cause. As an educator myself, an educator of proud independent women, I, I can't say enough how important education is and that this is a fantastic cause. So please keep that ball rolling and get those donations in. And with that, we are gonna have a quick word from Malala Fund, and I'll see you on the other side. No quiero llegar a los 18 o a los 20 a ver qué voy a estudiar, apenas a pensar, porque ya a mí sí como que me preocupo mucho de qué voy a hacer en el futuro. Quiero como aprovechar mi vida y dar lo máximo. This is a video series in which girls from countries around the world are sharing their stories and telling what matters to them. Hi everyone, and it's me Hadid. Hi friend, my name is Kancha. This is Roll Call. Hola, soy Regina. Tengo 13 años, vivo en Pachuca de Soto, Hidalgo, México. Ahorita son las 7 y estoy desayunando, ya que tengo que salir de la casa de mis abuelos donde estoy viviendo para llegar temprano a la escuela. Mi abuelo es el que me transporta y me recoge todos los días a mi escuela. Entonces, sí, como que siempre estoy con mis abuelos y eso me gusta mucho. Saluda, abuelo. Hola. Estamos llegando a mi escuela. Ella es Fanny, Mari, Ana, Vale, Eli. A mí me gusta mucho biología porque te das cuenta de cuántas cosas no sabíamos de la naturaleza y te das cuenta que el mundo tiene sorpresas tan maravillosas. We are working on a PSA, that is Public Service Announcement. It's about uh, environmental equality, our topic. Yes. Uh, we are making like conscious of the people to act. Cinco años estaba verde, olía fresco, olía naturaleza. Querías abrazar los árboles porque olía muchísimo a pasto verde. La verdad sí me da mucha tristeza ver ahora que ya no es lo mismo. Mis amigas me han apoyado mucho en la idea de ser actriz porque yo quiero ser actriz. Lo que me llamó mucho la atención cómo es que las personas se ponen en ese papel, en, en esa, en, se reencarnan al personaje. Muchas veces mis amigas y yo tratamos de hacer, hacer así como, como telenovelas, escenas de telenovelas así como de ¡Ay, mijito, ¿por qué haces esto? Bueno, en mi escuela hay talleres deportivos y culturales y yo estoy en un taller deportivo que es el básquetbol. La mayoría de mis amigas juega básquetbol. Hemos encontrado el deporte que nos apasiona. Está mucho en educación física, 
jugar juntas y divertirnos. Hola, es domingo, estoy aquí con mi familia. Sí, entonces dice. Todos los domingos tenemos una comida. Estos niños están jugando con el iPad. Pues cuando yo tenía, yo iba a cumplir cuatro años, mi papá falleció en un accidente de auto. Y tengo algunos recuerdos así, muy, muy leves así, pero yo no lo recuerdo tanto. Pues la verdad está muy chiquita. Lo que sí me dicen es que me parezco mucho a él. Y ya platicamos mucho desde la muerte, cómo es que la muerte es tan, tan natural y tan presente en nuestras vidas. La gente se va, ¿por qué no apreciar el momento con el que estás con esa persona? Porque pues no, no sabes qué pasará, ¿no? Yo lo que les recomiendo es que aprovechen el momento con el que están con esas personas porque pues nunca se sabe, ¿no? Creo que eso es todo y espero que les haya gustado mucho compartir este momento. I hope that these stories would have inspired you and that you would share it with your friends as well and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video from Malolifant, which is of course the amazing charity that we are supporting here at Flame Patels 2023. I'm Savage Octagon. I wanted to remind you of some of the amazing incentives that we have coming up for some games. So of course you should keep those donations for Malolifant coming through. We have a 1,000, we're trying to meet a $1,000 incentive for the Satan Loves Cake dramatic cutscene reading between Cerberus and Satan. I think we all definitely want to hear that conversation. So we're about $180 through that incentive. And then, of course, after that, you're going to want to catch the Solar Ash Wear All Suits incentive for the run after that. We're about $40 into our $2,000 goal. So of course, I'm gonna want you to go for that Satan Loves Cake cutscene reading first. I do have a $25 donation from Marissa. Thank you so much, Marissa. And I hope you put that towards one of our amazing incentives. And I also have a $125 donation from Marsha, 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 saying, La, 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 Kadamari incentive. <laughs> so yes, we do want to see that bonus game later today, Kadamari Forever. And we need to get to $45,000 before we can make that happen. And, and chat, if anyone can make it happen, I think it's you. So let's get that 10K. I wanted to give a shout out to our community in general, the Frame Fatales community. Frame Fatal Flame Fatales is presented by Frame Fatales, the all women community for those who are interested in speedrunning, charity events, and gaming. In addition to our two flagship events, Frost Fatales and Flame Fatales, we have a supportive community discord with activities year round, including game of the month and randomizer events. If you would like to join the Frame Fatales Discord server, DM the at Frame Fatales Twitter account or the GDQ Instagram account, or send an email to framefatales at gamesdonequick.com. All women, cis, trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming are welcome to join. And could not agree more. This is such a supportive community. And some of the games that you will see this week have been those games of the month, including Satan Loves Cake, our next game. I see that the, the total has jumped up for our incentive and we have $205 out of $1,000. And just like my previous host Lana was doing, that's about a fifth. 
So very exciting. We can get the rest of that four fifths for sure. Oh, and I have just heard something very exciting from production. We are ready to go back to our run of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. So everybody, let's get some hype in chat. Take it away, please. Hello, everybody. We're back. Sorry, right, there were several booby traps that we had to get by, but we, we have overcome them and we are back. We're back. Had to fall through several floors. Z got up, no problem. There were cats, mishaps all over the place, but we are ready. <laughs> we were ready to go. And when we ended, we were leaving the studio, or the uh, theater, and continuing on. That is just a cutscene that we normally skip. So you haven't missed anything. All we have done is gone to the world map, and that's it. So now we are going to continue on to Iceland, and I'll count us back in. We're going to go three, two, one. And we're at an old dig site. We're going to try and get some information from a man inside the cave. But we're going to do something a little tricky. We're going to stand by the entrance of the cave instead of actually walking over to him. Which is how it should work. But we're able to stay up here to lower the amount of walking time when we go to leave. Just yell really loudly. <laughs> yes. We've got good acoustics in the caves, so. <laughs> Next, we're going to go to, to call. We're going to completely ignore anything that Sophia tries to tell us. And we're going to just hop in the jungle here. If you like capybaras, I'm sorry. We are going to be a little bit mean to this capybara, which is RNG and giving me very bad RNG at that. Didn't think I'd hear the phrase capybara RNG. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice. We need to go through that section, and there is a giant snake. Why did it have to be snakes? Why did it have to be no. snakes? <laughs> hate snakes. <laughs> Luckily, the snake found something more tasty than Indiana Jones. Uh-oh. And we are able to cross through now. We're going to use that tree to climb across the gap. Do-do. Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and Sophia comes around the corner just like, hey, you could have just walked around if you had listened to me, but it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> now we're going to do a little talking section. And we're going to try to do a skip here. And we got it. Nice. We got him to stay out here instead of going back inside the temple. We're going to talk to this bird, which is going to give us the password that Steiner Sternert is looking for, which is the Hermocrates. And he will now allow us in the temple. And then we're going to immediately talk to Sophia and be like, hey, Sophia, you want to be a distraction? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just the most blase <laughs> okay ever. Gonna come out here, steal his lamp. Which I'm sure he won't notice when we walk back in with the stolen lamp, but it's fine. We're gonna use that lamp. We open it up. We're gonna get the oil out of it, put it on this spiral design so that we can get it off the wall. Now I bring that over here, use it with this, and then we're gonna pull the trunk because it makes an elephant. And oh look, a secret passage! Luckily, Sternard is not very observant and does not see the tiny gold glinting bead, which we find out is Oracalcum. It's a bead of Oracalcum, which is a source of power that the Atlanteans used long ago. We're going to take the easier path back out of the jungle, you know, the one Sophia took. <laughs> and we're back to Iceland. Iceland, don't they know it's flame fatels, not cross? Right? <laughs> right? This poor guy froze, uh, <sighs> froze in place. We'll say he's still alive. He's, he's fine. <laughs> and we put the bead in there that heats up the snake, melts it out of the ice, and now we've got a uh, 
Not a real snake. It's okay. Just a uh, golden relic snake. And we're going to take that to a collector who will hopefully give us information on where the lost dialogue of Plato is. But he's also a pervy old man, so we're going to have Sophia talk to him. Okay. okay. <laughs> Get through all that dialogue. We got most of the stuff we needed, but Andy needs to finish off the dialogue here. Luckily, all of the dialogue is the top option. And we need to listen to this right here. Dunlop Collection. Well, the first thing we're going to do here is check a bookcase that has fallen over. And if it says Dunlop Collection, then we know where Plato's Lost Dialogue is. If it does not say that, then it means we got one of the other two RNGs. Hopefully, we don't get the worst RNG. We'll see. Let's see what he says. Don't look at the screw. Look at the bookcase. I believe it's part of the old Ward Collection. Ward collection. Great. So it's not there. And I pick that up. I can't pick that. Yes, you can. Hall. I can't pick that up. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. I can't pick that up. Andy, you can pick that up. Try again. Go out. Come back. You can pick that up. You Andy. can. You can pick that gum up. I promise. Look at gum. There is a sticky wad of gum on sure is gooey. It sure is gooey. That's the best line in the game. <laughs> now you're going to use the gum to get up the coal chute. What? Because it was too slick before. We're going to pick up a cat figurine here. It's much too heavy to carry. It's made out of wax. There we go. That one's made out of wax. Open the furnace. Because, of course, what do you do when you find a wax? Wax cat, throw it in the furnace. And guess what? We got the worst <laughs> Let's RNG. Go. Let's go. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. So now we get to do the <laughs> walk of shame across the street. We need to go back to our office because there's a very important item that we need in order to continue. Walk back across, come into our office, say hi, hi to Sophia, ignore Sophia after that. And... I guess it's mayonnaise. We got mayonnaise. That is the very important item we needed. Then we do walk of shame number two. Back across the street. It takes them so long to get back. It's so <laughs> long. It's the this is this is almost I mean, basically in any circumstance, this would be a reset. Oh yeah, yeah. Because of how long it takes to get the third RNG. Um, we're gonna use this rope to climb back up. And then we're going to use this wonderful mayonnaise for, I mean, honestly, I would say it's a better use than eating it. We're going to <laughs> yeah. use it. As, <laughs> I was going to say wonderful and mayonnaise in the same sentence. Uh. Yeah, yeah. We're going to use this mayonnaise to uh, I can't push it any further. lube up the floor so we can pull this totem pole and then climb it. We are going to open this. And there's a little key inside. Go back downstairs. Push this crate. Then use this key. There's a and now we have Plater's Lost Dialogue. Do you mind if I tell you something that mayonnaise is good for? Please do. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but there's actually a recipe for an amazing chocolate cake that uses mayonnaise instead of eggs. You should all check it out. And speaking of cake, I hope you're all donating to that Satan Loves Cake dramatic cutscene reading incentive. We have almost $300 towards that. And we've just gotten a $25 donation from Holly that says, I also love cake. So if you love chocolate cake, definitely check out that recipe. All right. There we selected our path. There's three paths in this game. Wits, team, and... This. This is the one we're doing. I had to think for a second, you know. The only category <laughs> I run is the one I couldn't remember. <laughs> um, I'm also going to take a picture real quick. Oh, like like a selfie? Yeah. yeah. No. no. No, not quite. Oh. 
Uh, I need to take a picture of this book because it has very useful information in it and is way too difficult for me to remember. And we had to wait for Kerner, or Alan Trottier, rather. Anyway, so it works out. And we're going to answer his question, translation. He gives us a business card. We're then going to go to Algiers, or if you have a donation, now's a great time for one. I do have a donation. I have a donation both of a run past and a run present. So I have $30 from Grey Goo Girl, who said, here's $10 for every person Kuras agreed to marry in Wizards and Warriors 3. Also, trans rights. Trans, trans rights. rights. And also a run for you, Dr. Jones. It says, hi, Dr. Z. I know exploring collections can be dangerous, so maybe show some of those guards that nagging rash you got on your knuckles. Keep punching <laughs> your way through. You got this. And that's $25 from Zoku Bun. Thank you, Zoku. All right, we are doing a little bit of a city chase. We are following somebody who luckily is wearing a red hat and is the only person in the game wearing a red hat. So they're easy to track down. What an entrance, wow. And there's our, our first Nazi down. <laughs> Don't worry, there will be plenty more. Especially if we get caught several times in the desert. <laughs> and we get camel riding music. There are four locations that we're looking for here. There's a dig site at one of those four locations. We will check them in order. I'm going to guess we get worst RNG. But we'll see. Maybe the game will be nice to us it after might. what happened earlier. It might. <laughs> All right, here's best RNG. Let me double check that I'm... Nope, not there. All right, let's go for second best. Sure, this is fine. I'm sure we've got the second best, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, we did. Yes. All right. Now I need to look at this picture that I took. And we're going to go down and use this ladder. So I'm going to input some stuff into a calculator that I have. And... Darkest Night. Okay. We have a handy dandy little calculator that a friend of mine made. Shout out to Kramit. And now I can't see anything because it's pitch black and I'm in a bright studio. So I just have to <laughs> kind of move my cursor around until I figure out where I need to go. Uh, this little metal thing. That's what I want right there. Yes, use it. Perfect. Normally I play this in the dark. Uh, if you do runs of this, I highly suggest doing it in the dark. because Your eyes will be adjusted and you'll actually be able to see what you're doing. We're going to do a flurry of things here. We're going to push that, pick that up, come over here. Pick up another item. And we're going to use the ship rib to break the crumbling wall. Use the peg on the wall. Use the sunstone on the wall. Click this five times, says my calculator. And there we go, sure enough. And we remember to pick it up on the way out. Yeah, don't leave messes behind. No, do not. Don't. Are y'all ready for some punching? Yes. Go. First, we're going to do a whip. While you're standing there, let me show you. Then we'll do a punch. This is what you should do to all Nazis. There is a fighting mechanic in this game. It is very difficult. We do not use it. There is a cheat button that is just a sucker punch. That is what we use. Then we're going to go on a nice little balloon ride. If the... First excited had been here, then we'd only have one screen to go up, but because it was below, we have two screens to go up. Sorry, two instead of three. And now is another good time for donations. Have any? Thank you so much. Very excited to see this whip. When a problem comes along, you must whip it. And I have a problem right now, which is that that Satan loves cake incentive has not yet been met. So everyone, chat, I know you can do it. Get those donations in for Satan loves cake. We are $285 through that $1,000 donation. 
and I have an anonymous $25 donation. Thank you so much for donating to Malala Fund and a $10 donation from Rasmus Metzger. No comment, but thank you so much. Awesome, yeah, get those donations into the museum. We need more relics. We're doing a very long walking section here before we do some surveying. Hopefully I remember which horn to look at first. There are two horns once we get to, to it, and I have to survey both horns, but I have to do it in a particular order, and I am very, very bad at remembering which order. Because there are three sets of possibilities. I need to push this. They won't move. Not that one. Let's try this one. That's best RNG up there. That's second best RNG. <laughs> Here's the third, third best RNG. Last, you know. Goodness. It's fine. It's totally fine. We're going to use the surveying equipment. <laughs> I believe we do this horn first. Pick it up, and then... Oh, I didn't get the fast movement. All right, we'll get it on the second one. That. I see the right horn. And there's the fast movement. Nice. And we have dug up the moonstone. So now we have the sunstone and the moonstone. Those are needed for the puzzle that I have to use a calculator for. Uh, you don't... Have to. There are clues in the book that help you know how everything goes together. I'm just very bad at remembering them. So, lovely Kramit, my friend, made a calculator for me that shows it off, and I can just look at how many clicks I need to do, which just moves where the discs are aligned. And we're getting ready to use those two discs in just a second. Music in this game is amazing. Also, I have to say, it's it's so good. It's <laughs> so good for as old as this game is. It's it's wonderful. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Well, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Five and three. And guess what time it is? Time to punch. You time to punch. <laughs> Pick up the discs. Do not want to forget them. It's so easy to forget them. <laughs> and now we're going to pick up these three heads. Let's hope we get good RNG. We got good RNG. Let's, yes, go. let's go. We got the orb skip. If you pick up the heads in a specific order um, and the last head left is this yellow one, then you can run straight through the door as you grab it because there's just enough space. Now we're going to whip it. Whip, whip it the good. statue head real good. There's a, set, there's a pressure plate here, which is going to turn into an elevator once we stand on it. Pick up this old staff from this poor soul. And there is a chain hidden behind the waterfall that we find. Now we can climb back up. Now the trickiest part is not stepping back on that plate. We're going to do our best not to do. We're going to place all three heads back on the shelf here. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> third, try and th third time is the char charm. <laughs> there we go. That opens that door. Now we can continue on forward. This labyrinth in the casual playthrough is incredibly difficult. Uh, I absolutely used to guide for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's so many different places... I mean, if it's, it's, it's the labyrinth. <laughs> yep, exactly. You know? <laughs> and in this game, this is not the only labyrinth. <laughs> we will be encountering another one. Uh, we pushed a chalk down there. This is the LucasArts symbol there. Love the... How did that get there? Reference. <laughs> I, it's a good, good question. I mean, I think that the Atlanteans were so advanced that they had uh, okay, LucasArts yeah, games that makes back sense. then. Yeah. Pick up that gold box. We're going to put the bead into the gold box. And then as we're going, I'm going to resize the screen and mess everything up. And I'm so sorry, but hopefully it's fixed now. And then we're going to close that box. We need to hide the orichalcum because we're going to get an orichalcum detector. And that gold box is lined so that it 
hides all or, or calcum that we can actually use the detector and it's not just going to point at us. We're going to push this wall four or five times or six or seven. He didn't really have the leverage to do that. He was just like tapping, giving the wall a high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we all know Andy. Andy is, is very powerful. As is about to be displayed, see this giant rock slab? Nice. Nothing, Nothing for Andy. Junior, a may too I much interject the, uh, with Nazi a donation? Ball. Yes, please do. <laughs> We named the dog Indiana. Um, <laughs> that was a very appropriate time for this donation. A $50 donation from Nolan who says, I got to donate for punching Nazis. Let's all donate Thank for you. punching Nazis, chat. Well, it's the right moment because we are punching all the Nazis right now. Let's go. Here is yet another one that we get to punch. Punch the Nazis. Punch the Nazis. Yeah! And now, we're not going to punch this one. This one is, uh, oops. The Lactite <laughs> impaled, it's fine. But, uh, as much as we wanted to punch him, the stalactite will do. Yeah. And, because Indy is so powerful, that giant stalactite that just impaled the man, we're just going to come over here and we're just going to go ahead and pick that up. Fine. That's, that's, and he put it in his pocket too. Yep. Goodness. He's got plenty of cargo pants. It's fine. <laughs> We're going to use this boulder with that slag tight. And sure enough, nope, we blocked ourselves in. Actually, that's not what we meant to do. So we're going to go down here. <laughs> and oh, it's another Nazi. But this one's really beefy. Uh, no. We're not going to fight this one, actually. Because that's one of the only Nazis in the game that you cannot sucker punch. Aww. So instead... We're going to send a little friend his way. <laughs> Y'all have played Hades. Y'all know who Boldy is. Love Boldy. And yeah, it looks, go. seems to do the trick. <laughs> and sure enough, he has the Orc Alchem Detector. Let's see how bad our RNG is here. All right. Best RNG we did not get. If it's bad enough, we get to punch another Nazi. <laughs> Second... Nope. All right. How about third? Nope. We're getting close to the Nazi. Come into here. Fourth? Nope. We get to punch another Nazi. <laughs> Well, I mean, time loss, but also we get to punch another Nazi. It's so, at least satisfying. You yeah. Know. Uh, yep, there we go. There we go. We found some Orcalcum down here. What could it be? It's Sophia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and she brought us the World Stone, which is the third disc that we needed. So we now have all three discs. We will not have to find any more of those, but we will have to backtrack. So as you can see, the RNG in this game is brutal when it comes to speedrunning. Because that would be probably a two minute time loss there. Two or maybe even more. All right. If you have seen the movies, this may look a little bit familiar to you. Not quite the same, but similar to one of the locations. That should do it. And it did. Cool. We're going to pick up all three of these. Head out this door. And now is a good time to check and see how our museum is doing. How are we doing on donations? Ah, uh, yes, the museum. I have a $5 donation from K Duffles who says, I'm getting a message from Nur Absal. Oh, he's telling me to donate to Malala Fund. I love Fate of Atlantis, and I'm loving this run by NBZ. Good luck, and let's hit the Satan Loves Cake incentive. Thank you so much, K-Duffles. We are $365 through that $1,000 incentive. You heard me fail at a really funny Dr. Jo Jones voice, so you definitely want to hear the better dramatic cutscene voices by Jojo C. 
Thank you so much. We got worst RNG here as well. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is outstanding. There's three locations that we're looking for, and we got the worst one. Uh, we're going to pick up this repair kit. It's a tire repair kit. I'm sure it'll come in handy. And we have time for another donation if you'd like. Absolutely. I have a couple of anonymous donations to read. I have three $100 donations and an $18 donation. Every amount counts. So thank you so, so much to donating to Malala Fund. And we still need about $600 for that Satan Loves Cake incentive. So please get that in. All right. Uh, I used our journal picture that we took earlier to get some much needed information there to decide where we needed to go. I'm not putting that on. It's not and now we are on a boat. We are connecting this. I'm not putting that on. It won't hold air. Right. Because we need to use the tire repair kit on our suit here. Because that's definitely going to hold. It's fine. <laughs> As we go underwater. And we see several entrances. Guess what that means? RNG. RNG, here we come. I believe there are seven entrances. Oh no, they uh -oh. cut our line. Uh oh. We have to start. Is the song Drowning Music going to play? We gotta go. We gotta go. Not the best RNG. This is fine. This is fine. It's not fine, actually. You can run out of breath. Oh. So, so that's two of seven checked. Here's number three. How about number four? Nope. All right. All right. <laughs> this might be the worst RNG run I've ever had. No. no. All right. Wow. All right. Number six. How's number six looking for yeah, us? Number six. Lucky number six. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Wow. All right. Okay. Not the worst RNG. Just second worst. Now I have to pick up something that I can't see. Which is a ladder. And then I have to use that ladder with the stone rubble that I also cannot see. And then I have to climb up to something that I can't see. Pick up the ladder, which I still can't see. <laughs> open the box. Open the metal slab that I can't see. Use the beads. I'll never open this door manually. Where is it? Where is it? Uh. No, no, not there. It feels like a stone box. Open it. Open the stone box. It's already open. Okay, use it. There we go. All right. Oof. We got there. Got it. This is not the last time that we will use these stones, but it is one of the last. Would you let me know when a good time to read a donation would be? Uh, awesome. now it's great. I see some people in the chat talking about punches, punching that RNG, and I have a $25 donation from Churlington Beast Coat, who says, for punching Nazis, you say? Punch up and take my money. Awesome. We are in yet another labyrinth. This reminds me of those, you know, those metal ball tilting puzzles? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so all of these rooms are positioned randomly. Some of them have a better chance to show up in certain places, like the machine room. That one generally shows up there, but it doesn't have to. And we are looking for specific items throughout the labyrinth. So guess what? More RNG. <laughs> you can lose upwards of three plus minutes here. Oh, okay. This is the, We get to hear the Nazi squishing music. Everybody ready? Here it goes. <laughs> Epson chat for our fallen com <laughs> comrade. You know. <laughs> Not the Nazi, the robot. <laughs> I 
All right, these grates lead to either random rooms, the prison, or items that we need. That one led to a shortcut, which is the only way to get into here, which is great. But we're, we're getting a lot of the items that we need right off the bat, which is wonderful. We might actually... Okay. Hello everyone, production has told me that we need to take another short break. I was on the edge of my seat during that run and I know you all want to see some more punch in, so don't forget to get those donations okay. in. I have crabs, a couple of right? fun donations for Malala Fund. So I have a $25 donation from Zokubun that says, if Satan loves cake, what kind of desserts do you think Satan would make? Cola brownies, vinegar pie, tomato soup cake? I'm hoping that cutscene reading means I'll get to hear. Yes, we are $425 into our $1,000 goal for the Satan Loves Cake dramatic cutscene reading. You definitely want to hear these dramatic voices. And Zokuban assures me that all of these desserts are real. So... Tomato soup cake, if you want to look that up, feel free to tell us about how cursed it is. And we also have a $10 donation from Mirka. Thank you so much for that donation to Malala Font. And a $25 donation from Lexi Plays Fast. No comment, but thank you so much. We are... Of course, raising money for Malala Fund, which is an amazing cause. And Malala Fund is working for a world where every girl can learn and lead. With more than 130 million girls out of school today, Malala Fund partners with education advocates and activists who are breaking down barriers that hold girls back. So of course, an amazing cause and amazing fatales. I know you can raise all the money for this. And I have a really sweet donation from Soul Mass 218, $25. And they say, three years ago, I saw a Fatals event on stream for the first time, and my life has been changed ever since. Not only did I start speed running, but I found a wonderful community of people, many of whom have become dear friends. It's been such an honor to be part of this event and to help raise money for such a great cause. Thank you to the Frame Fatales community for being such a powerful inspiration and force for good in the world. Keep up the great work, everybody. And also, trans rights. Thank you so much, Soul Mass 218. We definitely really need to hear these uplifting messages. And of course, all the Fatales out there, you are a force for good. And I am seeing some love for our tech crew in the chat. So let's keep hyping them up. And I have a $25 donation from Skiles. Sorry if I messed up the pronunciation there. They say, this donation is to shout out the tech team and the great work they do behind the scenes. Absolutely. Chat, let's hype them up. And not only do your donations go to a good cause, we've got incentives, we've got pumping up the tech team, we've got uplifting the fatales, but we also have some great prizes that you can enter in to win. We have a Satan Loves Cake cross stitch in order, in honor rather, of our next run. And you can also enter to win a Frame Fatales logo filament painting by cyanide sugar who ran earlier these filament paintings are amazing they're high tech and so cute
And now production is telling me our amazing tech team has our run back. So take it away, MBZ. Okay, all right. We defused the booby traps, it's fine. <laughs> We're back, Ew. we're still alive. Okay. All right. Rami, right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get going in three, let's go. two, one, go. We're back at it in the labyrinth. There are so many crabs here. Do you think they're here for the crab rave? I think they are. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think they are. I think so. Almost as many crabs as booby traps. Yeah. All right, we got the cup room. What we like to see. We get a cup. Oh, I can't pick that up. Come over here, then pick that up. Thank you, Andy. Now we have a long hallway to walk through. To a dead end. Get a very important item. We're gonna pick up a rib cage. Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna use that rib cage with some gum. And that's going to give us a crab trap. Ah. A gooey crab trap. Absolutely. Those crabs are going to be so disappointed when there's no rave. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think. I think I'll, I'm still going to check these two rooms. I don't know if I actually need... No, I do need to. But first, we're going to run away from this Nazi. Normally, I would just run away from it. And there's a chance that my head will just disappear in the game. But there's a very good chance that that's going to soft lock the game and I won't be able to finish the run. So we're going to take it carefully through there. All right, we found the crab room. Let's go. We're going to lay out our trap and this poor crab right here. Sorry, little guy. Oh. It is right into our trap. Who knew? Rib cage and bubble gum. Perfect crab trap. <laughs> One more room to check in this section. Hopefully it has a great, and hopefully will be a shortcut back to the other sections. That would be wonderful. It does appear to be a shortcut. Nice. Oh, it's a wonderful shortcut. All right. This might be the lava room. It is indeed. Very good. That was a very good shortcut. We're gonna fill up our cup with some lava. One sturdy cup to be able to hold lava. <laughs> right? <laughs> we're just going to put that in our pocket. <laughs> of course. We're going to pick this up. We're not going to go through that grate because I believe we got all of the items that we needed from the grates. We'll continue checking rooms. I'm going to go back to the machine room because now we have both of the items that we need in order to activate the machine. Check some rooms on the way. I don't even know if I need to check the rooms. I'm trying to remember what items we need still. We might have everything we need. I may have had really good RNG there and then just checked rooms I didn't need to check, but it's fine. <laughs> Use this bronze spoked wheel. And we're going to go up the steps here. Use the lava filled cup at the top. See what kind of magic happens at the bottom. And now is a great time to check in on the museum again, if, again, if you have any donations. I do have some donations in this museum. Thank you. I have $50 from Heldon Subret, who says, this donation belongs in a museum. And by a museum, I mean applied to the dramatic cutscene reading incentive. Heldon Subret, I couldn't have said it better myself. We are just over halfway to meeting that Satan Loves Cake cutscene reading. And we don't have much time, folks. We gotta get the get that drama, get that drama going. So let's get to $1,000. All right. Fill a room there. We do not need to check it as far as I'm aware. If we do, then we'll have to come back for it. And that will be very unfortunate. 
but I believe I got all the items I need. But we're going to continue on. We will absolutely get into another encounter here. It is very rare for me to make it to that room without getting into an encounter. But we'll just walk away and walk past. Which is kind of like this room. Here, here's a whole puzzle. Let me just walk out and then walk past that puzzle. <laughs> it's fine. fine. We didn't need to do that anyway. Our fallen comrade here. We're going to pick up the statue part that fell off. And then Sophia in the background there in the jail just chilling. Bye. Bye. Going to leave her in jail. It's fine. She's okay. And remember that uh, trapped crab. Well, I think we've got a... A very hungry octopus here that uh, would really like to taste that. <laughs> this part is slight RNG, not as bad as the rest of it. You just have to wait for the arms to go down. Then Andy will throw it in. We are going to put or calcum bead inside the crab's mouth and find out that it is an automaton. Oh. There's a sunstone on this door. Let's us through. And we're just going to be floating for a while. So if you have any donations or anything you'd like to read, now is a great time. Excellent. You know, you were just talking about tasty things. And of course, we all know that cake is tasty. And I have a $25 donation from an Onyx mouse who says, Satan loves cake, so I'm told. And the dialogue's great to behold. I'll just get the blues unless drama ensues as Jojo C reads out loud and bold. <laughs> Thank you so much for that poem. And everyone, if you want to send in some rhymes for Satan Loves Cake, come on and do it. We still have about $475 left on our incentive. Very good rhymes, very good rhymes. You're almost out of the main section of the labyrinth. Well, we're out of the main section. We're almost out of the inner section of the labyrinth. It's closed. Well, I know, Andy. That's why I want you to use the world stone. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. We will depart and say goodbye to our crab friend. And we've got a little puzzle here. So we're going to use the ladder here. I'm up. Open the chest. Open the, open the chest. Thank you look at the chest as well. Thank you. All right. We're going to place these items in a specific way. I can't put it there. Andy, thank you. The bead won't, the bead won't, the bead won't, the bead won't fit there. I'm trying to let it go. I put these in backward. <laughs> ah! Fine. There we go. That lowers the arm. Now we're going to connect these chains. The statue's arms. Andy, thank you. Climb back up. Rearrange our gears. I can't put it there. And tear down the door. Nice. And we get a handy dandy hinge pin out of it. Now we are into the innermost, well, eh, second innermost. Uh, parts of the labyrinth. This labyrinth is never ending. <laughs> and in one of the other paths, at least one of the other paths, there is a, uh, a very long and really cool scene in this room. However, in the fifth path, we just walk right through it. There's nothing that happens. But it is uh, really, really cool. I highly recommend playing the other paths, the wits and team path. This is obviously the most fun because you get to punch as many Nazis as you want. But the other paths have some really cool puzzles, and it's not like slight differences. It is there are very large differences between the paths. That's very cool. I like yeah. that there's that much replayability. One of the paths you get to go on a submarine. One you get to go actually ride the hot air balloon and like control it. So there's there's a lot of differences. All right, this part I need to be very 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 careful on because my run can end here. Um, this is a save list category, so if I do not get this correctly, the run will die. Push that. Push that. Push that. Okay. 
if I can get this. That there. That? No! 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 Oh no! Andy! <laughs> Andy! Well, Andy's fine. We're, fi we're fine. Whoa! It was okay. close though. Phew, 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 phew. <laughs> Glad he made it. And now we have a great time to read donations after that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I am so glad you're fine, Indiana. <laughs> I have a $25 donation from Rebecca Hope, who says, shout outs to the amazing production teams, tech teams, and moderations team at GDQ for their help in this event. Let's go, ladies. I agree, Rebecca Hope. Thank you so much. And we also have $50 from Malharaz. No comment, but thank you so much for your donation. Thank you all so much. This labyrinth is very easy. It's just doors leading to random doors. Although it's not random, it's always fixed. All right, and I need to memorize this up here in the background. So sun bottom, moon right, volcano bottom. Hopefully my brain can remember that. Sun bottom, moon right, volcano bottom. Yeah. Which is actually pretty decent RNG there. And then we're going to do a lava puzzle. These lava puzzles are awful. They're terrifying because if you make one wrong move, you are dead and the run is over. So um, let's hope that doesn't happen. But let me chart my path. Okay, I think we're good here. Yes, right, Andy, energy. Andy, come back. Andy, please. Over here, bud. Here you go. All right, we're going to try to pet path across um, whatever direction we move in the the piece that is directly ahead of us will fall into the lava so you can easily get stuck there but we did not we made it through we're nearing the end of the run too and at the start of the next run we're going to want to know whether we have that dramatic cutscene reading for satan loves cake we're about $450 away from meeting that incentive. So please send in those donations and tell us what your favorite kind of cake is. All right, here we go. We're going to activate the Atlantean machine. If I click the right keys. All right, sun bottom, moon right, volcano okay, bottom. And we have activated the machine. Ooh, oh, come on. Ugh, again? These guys. Yet again, we were followed. Can't do anything on their own. This machine is supposed to be able to give you godlike powers and immortality. So they are going to try to get us to help them figure it out. And we're going to kind of give them some information. It might not be the best information. But we give them the information that we think is right. So we'll see if this works. Light flashing light warning. It's very minimal, but just in case. And it didn't go so well. Time is going to be coming up when I select the last dialogue. I will call out for time. So we're going to select one, two, two, four, three. No, I did the wrong ending. Oh, no. It's totally fine. That's time. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, the, the ending that we normally get uh, is not Indiana Jones getting turned into Nurab Sal, the god. Which was mentioned in a donation earlier, if you noticed. Uh, normally, Sophia will come on screen and get turned into Nurab Sal. It's very easy to click the wrong dialogue there, and it just ruins the whole thing, which is what I did. <laughs> so, worst RNG for most of the run, and I got the bad ending, but it's okay. It's all good. It's okay. We still it was finished about the, the run. journey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you all so much for, for watching. 
I wish I could have had the good ending, but it's all right. Um, I do want to do a couple shout outs. Crime, do you want to go first though? Yeah, sure. Um, I've been Metroid Crime. Thank you so much, Z, for having me on. This was so much fun. Um, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Metroid Crime, or you can tune in later tonight around 7.30 Eastern for Sonic Mania. And I'm going to be running that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout outs to Crime for being on my couch. Thank you. Great, great job. Um, shout out to my partner, Al, who is incredibly supportive, supports me in everything that I do, and I could not ask for a better partner. Shout out to Nat Merrick and her kids. They are my biggest fans. And shout out to the Speedy Adventures Discord, which I always forget to shout out, and I'm so sorry. But I remembered this time. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and punch some Nazis. Thank you so much, NBZ. And of course, chat, we want you to punch some Nazis. We want to hear those Nazi punch and donations. And of course, they're going to hopefully go towards the Satan Loves Cake dramatic cutscene reading incentive. And we are at $555 out of 1000 And you know what, chat, might be really appropriate if we got to $666 out of 1000 in the next couple of minutes, I want to see that happen. In a couple of minutes, we're going to have an interview with the Satan Loves Cake Runners. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, you know what you need to bake a cake. You need an apron, but you might not have an apron. So you might want to wear something else that's cute. And if you haven't seen them already, the teas from the Yeti, one of the official sponsors of Games Done Quick events since 2011. are They are just adorable and you should check them out. They've got amazing merch, apparel, and vinyl for video games and pop culture. And over $2.5 million has been donated to GDQ charities. So a portion of the purchase price from all of the items in the Flame Fatales collection will be donated directly to Malala Fund. So definitely check those out and maybe you'll be wearing a cute Flame Fatales t-shirt next time you bake a cake. And of course, we are looking for donations towards that Satan Loves Cake dramatic cutscene reading. And so get those in. You're definitely going to want to hear Joe Josie bring the drama for that run. And with that, we're going to have an interview with the runners of Satan Loves Cake. So take it away, Ruby Hart, interviewing Joe Josie and Eliza.